In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a Windows 7 recovery disk on a USB flash drive. In my case, I'm going to be using my 16 gigabyte USB 3 flash drive, but any flash drive will work just fine as long as it's big enough to hold the contents of the recovery image. So now I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have your Windows 7 recovery disk image available. You're also going to want to make sure that you have WinRAR installed on your system. The first step in this process is to click start and type CMD into the start menu search box. Press enter. This is going to bring up the Windows 7 command prompt. Once you're at the Windows 7 command prompt, you want to type in disk part, all one word as you see on the screen. Press enter. Once you do that and you reach the disk part command prompt, you want to type in list disk as you see on the screen and press enter. What this is going to do is it's going to show you a list of all the connected drives on your system. And you're going to want to look for your flash drive. In my case I'm using a 16 gigabyte flash drive so my disk is listed as number two. However your disk may be a different number. So the next step is to type select disk and type the number that corresponds with your flash drive. In my case, my number is 2. So I'm going to push 2 and press enter. The next thing you want to do is type the word clean and press enter. If you get that error that says disk part has encountered an error, access is denied, just type it once again and it will go through just fine. After you perform the clean command, you need to create a new partition. To do that, all you have to do is type create partition primary. After you do that, disk part will go ahead and create a new primary partition. Next thing you need to do is format the partition that you previously created. To do that, you want to type the word format space fs equals ntff. Before I proceed, I would like to mention that depending on the size of your flash drive, the format may take in excess of 10 minutes. In the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and skip forward in the video to after my format is complete. After your format has completed, the next thing you have to do is type select partition 1 and press enter. Then type the word assign. Then type the word active. After that, you can close the command prompt. If you have an autoplay window that popped up after you typed assign, you can 
click open folder to view files. Now this is where WinRAR comes in handy. You're going to come over to your Windows 7 recovery disk image, right click on it, and come down to extract files, and make sure you select your flash drive, and press OK. Going to go ahead and extract the files directly to the root of your flash drive. If you get anything that says the following file already exists, just go right ahead and overwrite. And that's it. And now I'll show you the USB flash drive working as it's supposed to. Okay, I've switched to my iPod to film this next part. Uh, I've got my computer restarting right now. And I will show you in real time that I'm going to boot off of my USB flash drive and it will load just as if I had the recovery disk in my CD drive. All I'm doing right now is pushing my F8 key on my keyboard to initiate my boot menu and if you can read that the very bottom selection is USB A data USB flash drive I'm going to go down to that. Sorry for the shaky camera, but I'm doing the best I can. I'm going to go down to the USB flash drive, press enter, and it takes it a second to start to load, as you can see. And right there you see Windows is loading files. And you are booting the Windows 7 recovery disk off of my flash drive which you can see is plugged in to the front of my computer. I hope you guys found this video informative. I hope it helps you out. And if you would like more videos like this, please uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.